Greetings, dear hearts. Happy warm up Sunday. Hello, hello, hello. It's warm up Sunday D style. Warming up with Miss D. I'm warming up this Sunday. Uh, not really knowing exactly what I'm going to do. I'm just going to warm up. have lots of thoughts in my mind, lots of things I want to do, but so many thoughts not ready for it, so I'm going to use our warm-up Sunday to warm up, have a cup of coffee, and do what I call soul crafting, crafting from my soul. How are you? How are you? First thing we got to do is get the desk in order. Not bad this week. Not bad this week. Got lots of piles next to me as I was uh, sorting through a few things that I had worked on during the week. A few things I wanted to play with today. So got piles to the left, piles to the right, piles on the sewing machine. Lots of piles. And the one thing I don't see in a pile is my baby wipes. So, soul crafting is going to be wipe my fingers off <laughs> on a dry paper towel today. We're going to call that clean enough. First thing I want to do as I warm up is just uh, kind of clear away some of the materials that I have been um, gathering. So this is a tea box that I said this would be great for making um, prototypes out of cards and tags. Hey, baking and uh, baking. Where's bake? We're baking and crafting. Delicia, how are you? I'm trying to kill your name. Is baking and crafting meat? <laughs> How are you? Been a minute. I'm just getting started. Just warming up. I'm trying to get rid of some cardboard that I had been saving. Break it down so that it can um, be stored and not eat up a lot of space. How things going for you? How's your channel? It's good to see you come out. I'm doing well. I'm hanging in. I've been saying that's the party line and I'm sticking to it. As our world is changing around us, lots of changes. For me, and warm-up Sundays have become real important, and it helps me get ready for the week. Now, I'm going to be really good this week, and I'm going to throw pieces of this out. As I'm trying to keep the craft room organized, I'm not saving every little piece of every little thing. So this is what I will save and utilize that as tags and um, pocket um, what not this is my one of my inspiration pieces for today I have a, several don't have my trusty mat today I'm just gonna work on top of this piece of paper this is actually being repurposed is copier is what the copier paper comes in and I thought I'd utilize it as a little catch-all catch all the paint and whatnot that goes on in the crafting so inspiration inspiration this lady right here I've been wanting to work with her Ever since my daughter showed me this, these images, 
So I'm going to cut her out. I'm crafting from the soul, which means I'm warming up. Whatever comes to my soul is what's going to happen this morning. That's a very easy way to ease into everything in life is get still, listen to your soul. Follow that. I'm always using some of the minology as I'm crafting. Isn't this just like the loveliest image? Love it. I want to play with her today. She's inspiring me. There's a couple sisters on this page. The um, print didn't go well, so all the images, not all of them, worked out. Good to hear your channel's going good. Keeping your head up, that's what we got to do. Head up, shoulders back, sleeves up. Ready for this. All right, so I'm going to just think about using this little image. You know I want to play with her today. I like this image. It did not copy real well. I tell you, I uh, purchased that ink that you get, the ink from HP. They monitor how much ink you use and then they um, send you ink each month or each, whenever you're running low really, for one flat fee. And it's been my albatross downfall, kick in the butt. I bought a brand new printer copier and something with that ink um, not being what we normally just buy at the store. They kind of monitor the ink and they send you ink and you only can use it. When they say you can use it, looks like to me, like if you aren't scheduled in their computers to use the ink, the ink that they send you doesn't work, which is making my whole printer not work and i'm so mad it was the first time i had bought a color copier it's a hp and it was copying so beautifully and then when it was time to change the ink oh goodness i ripped that um the ink cartridge didn't work and trying to get those people on the phone has been a nightmare i'm going to patch that back up these images didn't come out too well, so they may be background in something. I'm just putting them to the side. Now we got to do a patch up. I'm going to do a simple patch up on this, as this will probably be added to something. So I'm just going to um, glue a piece of paper on it so it's whole again. Yes, crafting from the soul. Way to go. Uh, I had found that once I started, you know, YouTubing and trying to get the altruism, altruism to build up my subscriber base, that my crafting stopped being from the soul. It was uh, kind of being forced. To get the algorithm to be saying enough that uh, YouTube would push my videos where people could see them and you know trying to be a YouTuber more than a crafter I guess but it kind of stunted my creativity so I'm at the place of I'm crafting because I love to craft I'm gonna record people can come and watch if they would like and not if they don't like. And I'm finding that my creativity is coming back. This is an old book page, so I do need to be a little more careful with that. Yes, get your tea, get your coffee. 
Hopefully get some of your craft materials and craft with me. Oh, she is speaking to me. Look at her. She is speaking to me. She's so beautiful. All right. So before I dive in to get my juices flowing, I'm just going to stain some paper and show you these two covers this I made during the week. Haven't put pages or anything in them yet. Blue, my favorite color, and this fabric fall. Speaking of fall, I got leaves hanging up that I um, decoupaged and probably play with those. Oh, they feel good after I decoupaged them. It sealed them so they're not drying out and getting brittle. This uh, cover inspired that, so I know I want to make some pages with the leaves in it. Although this feels too big, long, high, uh, the height of it is too long, so I want to cut it. I don't think my paper cutter will cut it, so I'm going to try to um, use my exacto knife and cut it down, which may be asking a lot. <laughs> but we'll give it a whirl and see what we get. So this warm up, you'll see a whole lot of everything going on as I'm crafting from the soul for real. That means prepping things, getting ready for what may come out. So I'm just going to try to cut this down a little bit. That's right, just do what you love. And that's working for me. Met some beautiful people. Oops, the dear hearts are beautiful people. I think I asked last week, I'm cutting the ruler, uh, asked last week about where's my tribe? I was who feels my vibe where's my tribe that might be less more than I want it to cut off but I'm gonna go with it I think it's right here where I really want to cut since it didn't go all the way through maybe I can get away with this Yeah, looking for people with the same vibe is is cool. It's really nice. Uh, thank you. I love the fabric. My daughter and son-in-law brought me that. That looks like it's going to take forever. And from my soul, I'm the impatient crafter. Find a good pair of scissors up here. Let's see how that works for me. Since I started the line, it should go a little smoother, a little rough. These aren't my good scissors. Got a couple granddaughters staying at the house and they get my scissors and don't bring them back. So now I'm down to whatever old pair I can find. And I don't like that, but. Keep at it with the exacto knife. Oh, there's a good pair. There we go. Hope I don't cut it too short. Then I'll be trimming papers. I just didn't like the it being so tall didn't feel good in my hands these were uh, boxes 
it was a box that something came out of and I just went with the natural height of the box. Rotary cutter, it works one. Oh, I've heard about that, but I haven't used one. It cuts through the cardboard. That sounds like something I would like where you're just rolling over stuff. That looks a little bit uneven, but I could work that out. That's the beauty of the fabric covering. Oh, that feels much better in my hands already. Just want to trim just down this angle. That's soul crafting. My soul says that feels better. And I'm going to curve the edge. Oh, rotary cutter. Give that a try. Always uh, hoping to find a new tools. Oh, that feels much better. Love this fabric. So I'm excited to put pages in this. of uh, scrap we can use. Orange seems to be the thing popping up today. Found this image in a magazine. She's inspiring me. Ooh, she might look good up there. We'll see what happens. That feels good already. That makes warm up Sunday already feel good. And then the other thing I wanted to do in the warm-up process was uh, coffee stain a little paper uh, on the okay nice seven dollars that's nice I uh, so these two things um, this cover I just use masking tape, a little um, duct tape. I mean, duct tape. Both of them are duct tape. One's a decorative duct tape, and the other is just a colored duct tape that I got from the dollar store. And blue is my favorite color. And so I just put a little piece of chipboard in there. So that's kind of inspiring me today uh, to get some pages in there. And so that's where that tea dyeing, oh, the other inspiration. A lot of inspiration over here today. Um, the winner of our um, giveaway was um, Dear Heart Cheryl. And I was so inspired by the journal. She, she won a handmade journal that um, we're still working on. Um, but I love the fabric that we used on this journal and uh, it inspired me with some of the images um, that I was using in it this image inspired me I was like oh my god I love that and so I said I'm gonna make me a journal and I didn't want to bite off Cheryl's journal that I'm making for her so much that I uh, said I'll make the image make her a little different so this um came out of the inspiration of um this journal that dear heart cheryl has won and today what i am going to do is put some pockets um inside of it you know continue to kind of embellish it when i get all done um i'll do a flip through as we decorate and get the uh, journal ready for her 
Yeah, it was exciting that she got she won the um, journal. But it was an inspiration, so I'm going to tee dye some papers for the journal. And I think my journal is going to um, use some of um, the colorings that I had for Dear Heart Cheryl, but blue is going to be the color. So that's one. So that's three inspirations for one warm up Sunday. No, I'm not going to do them all live here on camera. I'm just going to do the warm up part uh, on camera. Which I'm doing. I am warming up pretty good. Some images um, that I had drawn uh, that I want to tea dye. Because I think I'm going to add them into my journal. I made a few for other journals that I may make in the future. So I'm going to tea dye that, coffee dye that. And I think this image will end up in my book. These are paintings that I had uh, cut off the canvas last week. So I'm going to have them end up in the book. So real quick, I just want to coffee dye these papers. Let them dry as I warm up this Sunday. Love that image right there. He's going in my book. All right. How do you warm up? You had lots of nice images. Um, I was telling a dear heart who was saying they didn't have um, any of their uh, crafting tools that uh, we can get crafting tools through the junk that comes in the mail or magazines or whatnot that comes through the mail. And so I've been pulling a lot of that instead of using digitals, doing true junk journaling. Just wanna get some color on these. Put a mat down so I don't kill the carpet. And I'm just gonna put these off to the side to dry. And just the action of the brushing really helps me feel really good. <laughs> Let your kids drive you crazy is how you warm up. Do they craft with you? I was blessed last Sunday. My daughter uh, came in the live and uh, she craft with us. Um, she actually, that journal we all make are making, she's making a journal. And that's been a blessing to watch her creativity come out oh her journal is beautiful so a lot of times on Sundays she and I get to kind of craft together as she's working on her journal my granddaughter two of my granddaughters are making have me junk journals and or sometimes crafting with me so that's been fun Yeah, just want to get a little of the coffee stain on the images before I decide how I'm going to use them. I like this form of um, coloring my paper. I find when I bake them in the oven, they're a little too crispy for me. I like a little um, crunch on the paper, but not as hard as they come out in the oven. So I brush them on and... I let them kind of air dry. I have a little space heater down here that I have glowing. And so by the time I get done brushing the coffee on the pages, the ones that I first start, they're dry. So it doesn't take long. It keeps the process moving. And I can make designs as I wish with the uh, brush. 
there'll be a few of these that I'll probably make some designs. This is great warm up. The soul is relaxing. Are you relaxing? Sometimes I just like to watch a fellow crafter do what they do, and it that'll relax me. I like to watch people fussy cut, but it's nothing I like to do. <laughs> I think last week I ended up doing some fussy cutting here on the warm up. It made it a little easier being on the warm up doing it, but that's not my favorite thing to do. If you notice, most of my images, I have more than one. Because um, I'll change the design of the image. Uh, people will ask for journals and like the image. So I try to always have at least three copies of any image I'm, I'm playing with. This was a... Uh, this was the sister in a Montgomery Ward magazine that I made for Cheryl's book last week. We used the color copy from the magazine and I used the cut up cut out to make this page, added some music paper to it. And I actually like the effect. I'm gonna turn that over, let you see that again. Yeah, that fussy cutting is no joke. Can you guys see the image in here? Love that effect. And it's just, I cut the image out of a magazine and that was the um, cutaway part, the part that was left. And I glued it to another page and I just loved that. Ooh, did you see the lights flicker? I'm here in Seattle, Washington, and looks like a storm is coming our way. The sky is so, so gray and heavy. The wind is blowing pretty good. Really good. I guess enough to flicker the lights. So if I get cut off all of a sudden, just know we had a storm coming in. But these some pages that I really enjoyed. Some images I drew, some I got out of a magazine. These I like to cut out and just add to backgrounds of pages. I tell you, brushing on your coffee stain is a great warm up. So relaxing. Sometimes I call, I uh, stain both sides of the page, but most of the time it'll seep through. So I don't do both sides all the time. It's just if I want the paper real dark that I'll do both sides. But it does make your paper weaker, so you have to be careful. Sister Delicia, you like um, cooking more than actually um, doing the paper crafts. I love how you um, have your channel doing both, but you get the most joy out of the baking. Put yours in the oven? Do you bake your paper? 
after you do it in the um, pan. A lot of times when I do things that way, I'll rip my paper. I feel like I have a lot more control this way. But depending on the ink that I have in the printer the, or the copier, uh, sometimes it's not effective to do it this way if the ink bleeds. Uh-huh. Oh, you have a dehydrator. Nice. I haven't tried that. That sounds interesting. This page I'm a little afraid of. I can see how dark that ink is that it may bleed and run, so I'm not going to brush over it. I'll drip some on and shake it off, but I'll brush over the white parts, but I can see the way that ink's on there. I, that's going to be trouble. <laughs> I'm not going to do this whole stack. I'm going to move on. But I wanted some of these images for what I'm going to do. Get to my lady. See what we're going to do with her. That's what I want to do. But this does help the warm up process. This is some words that I like to tea dye and cut them out to be able to add. This look like my uh, Bible journal words. And since it's Sunday, I guess that's nice. Fasting and prayer and giving. Love. God is love. Prayer is the glue. Nice. Yeah, I like to sometimes make my own words. Hey, Fong, how are you? Yeah, dehydrating less chance of burning your paper. Yeah, that's my problem with the oven. That paper gets too crispy, too dark. I hadn't thought about a dehydrator. I find this really relaxing and sometimes I'll paint with the coffee like some of the girls that I want them to be sisters people of color I'll uh, do their skin tones with coffee make the coffee either light or dark and I love that effect Uh, right now we're warming up um, just kind of doing soul crafting today I have an image that um, my daughter found online and I have been really interested in finding um, people of colors to to use in my journal and so she found this beautiful image and I'm gonna play with her, make um, a cover tag 
out of her image. And I got white on today playing with coffee. Let me hurry up and stop this. <laughs> Sometimes I get carried away, put the wrong thing on in the craft room. All right. Yeah, some of these images will go into the new journal. Nice. With the dehydrating oven. I don't have, I don't think I've ever seen one of those. <laughs> All right. I think that warmed me up pretty good. I don't see any of the images that I'm planning on using today. I just want to do a couple plain pages for background for my girl. Like always need music. So I did this is different uh songs. Again, these are my gospel songs. I guess I'm supposed to be working in my Bible journal today. Everything is coming up that. <laughs> I tell you, soul crafting, get your soul right. Yeah, I think she will be a lovely focal point. I'm excited. And I believe it was you, Fong, um, who turned me on to a place to get some um, black images on Epsi. I know after shortly after meeting you ladies, that one of you told me of a place, and I did get some from Epsi that I had copied right before my copiers going through all that trouble I was mentioning earlier and in Cheryl the winner of the art journal uh, book I have a couple of those images all right I don't think there's Too many more that I want to uh, put the paint on. All right, we're gonna shift gears. I do want to make sure that I have a um, couple pages, just plain pages. Because I can see that image going on a coffee dyed background as one of the layers. So I want to make sure I have fresh piece. And while I'm here, we can uh, design a piece. So what happens to me a lot of time in what I'm calling soul crafting is that when I paint from my soul, if I'm coffee staining like I'm doing right now, I can also paint. I'll just stroke the paper like this. And I'll get inspired. Like I'll see mountains and scenery. I'm gonna let this one be dry though because I wanna have at least two for what we're working on. But 
this one I'm going to play with. What I do a lot of times is take a little um, gesso. And let me find a little gesso. Hmm. Curious. Always have a little gesso on the desk. There it is. I love to do this right here when I'm tea staining. Now, I don't like to contaminate my tea. I mean coffee. So I'll pour it in another dish, but right now I'll pour it in the cap. And I'll take the uh, gesso with the tea and stain the paper. It makes painting over the paper so nice. And it gives it this stain look. So I mix it right on the paper. That's a beautiful coffee dye. Oh wow. You're working on a digital, Livy? Of um uh people of color. I would love to see that. Please be sure to let me know when that's um, done and coming out for sale. Do you see what's happening? I see trees now. And layering them in with the gesso, when this paper dries, I can come back and paint the images. They'll dry into the paper to hear some mountains. Let's make a little path between there. Get some bushes. I love how you can move the coffee around with the gesso. This will be a beautiful mountain when this dries. I'll just layer on more color. Okay, let me... See, I'm past warming up. Starting to get into the creative space. <laughs> All right. I'll just let that dry. And just clean off the brush on these and I'm ready to create. I felt it happening in that um, play. Oh, I can't wait to see your um, digital. I'm going to Try to stop here. Notice I said try. <laughs> this is so relaxing till I get caught up. I love mountains, so always trying to find a way to get some mountains in. Here in Seattle, we're surrounded by mountains and uh, water. 
So it's like God gave me a little paradise over here. One of my favorite mountains to paint is Mount Rainier. It's one of the bigger mountains over here. And that right there, what I just did, is a great foundation. When that dries, you may not can see it with the way the camera is going, but when that dries, that mountain will be there for me to paint. Okay, I'm going to call that enough of that. Definitely feel warmed up. And let's just sop that up with a tissue that can become used at some point. about 15 more minutes to um, be live with you all so I guess I'll begin working on my focal image and you can see the beginning process as warm up I feel went well for me ready to create Ooh, I did want to put a little coffee on these two images You probably can't see them on camera. They're uh, hand sketched out images that I needed sketched so I could uh, paint later. When you uh, sketch your images on the paper and then you coffee dye it, it seems to make all the lines so etched in that it's beautiful. And for the, their sisters' faces, I like to put a drop of the coffee to make their complexion, let it dry in. It's kind of sop of, around it. like kind of painting with the coffee getting things ready can you see those images at all let me see if I can hold that up it's two ladies I penciled them in so I'm not sure you can see them Eh, just barely when they dry and I paint over them you'll be able to see all right nice I feel so very warmed up I don't see uh, Cheryl in the chat today I was expecting to see her so she could see how inspired I was by some of the things we did from her book this image also, this is actually a picture of uh, my sister-in-law when she was very young. I always loved her high school photo and I wanted to use it. I, I just love black and white photos. So these two were my inspiration today. And the paper that's inspiring me. Is 
is this and this is the paper that I use for dear heart uh, Cheryl's journal love that paper you can see this image there oh that's gonna be beautiful just a little layering a little lace I can see beauty so let's go ahead and do that they got me excited real quick this paper is like a it feels like paper and uh, like rice paper almost my son-in-law and my daughter uh, brought this to me and so I'm not real sure what it is love the color love the feel not real sure exactly what it is but it feels good And it covered that book so nice for Cheryl. Okay. Yeah, I love that color. Love everything about that material. Now, I think I want um, the strengthening up the back oh I had my clay out wanted to make um, I am today gonna make faces for my tags I've been making um, 3d faces and putting them on the tags that's one way I can get people of color I can make my own And if you notice, I didn't use um, a cutting board or anything like that. I really don't like too neat of edges on things that I'm doing. I like it to look a little more handmade. So I'll leave it um, cut instead of... Um, I mean, I leave it kind of raggedy instead of just use the cutters. There's something about that handmade look that's so appealing to me. Now, picking out the layers for sis. So many. This gold could be pretty too. Hmm. Because I can do that image again I can play with different backgrounds for her I want to put some book page on the back to strengthen that now this is old old book page so it's easy to um, rip and I don't know if that's the wisest choice but since this is an old old picture I think I kind of want to use it I think I want some of it poking out. This is crafting from the soul. I didn't have um, any plan on what it was going to look like. I just wanted it to come straight from the soul. I find those are my best looking pieces. It takes a little more time. I'm not sure it's the best thing for a live, but like I said with um, all the games being played on YouTube I'm doing what makes me feel good and happy I see it taking shape cut that top edge off
and I'm cutting crooked because I want it to look ragged. I see it layering up like that. Oh yeah, with a little lace. I like that gold too though. Let's see if I could put a little piece of that in. This is this gold is just um some gold paint that I brushed um and put a little decoupage on. Filling that layering, starting to come, it's starting to come. Um, just looking for a little bit of lace. Just a little texture. What I like to do to strengthen my paper up is uh, use the sewing machine and uh, kind of back it up. I've already backed a piece of paper up. I think I'm just going to use it. Oh, yeah, that's going to feel good. I'm just going to glue that down there. And um, get a jump on. the back. I'm telling you, just running some stitches down a piece of paper gives it real strength. I'm going to uh, ink that a little bit. Come to this side. Let's just go with some oxide. What I've been doing with my oxide is um, putting a little color on first and then go over it, I think it makes things pop. And I love orange and blue, so orange and blue with it, I mean orange. It's going down first. You don't want a lot of color. You can put the oxide down on paper and then just kind of rub it over. And then I get that um, just gentle coloring. Okay. And then I like to take just some vintage photo or um, some brown. This is vintage photo. And go over those edges again. Those multi layers really, even though it's subtle, it gives a great popping effect. A little more of the aging. Because you'll see the orange peek through, kind of. Thank you, Mom. I was just pointing to my granddaughter that I was recording. So forgive me for that. <laughs> I know this is just the bottom layer, but I like 
to, um, you know, that feels like it could even use a little of the black. Just a little, not a lot. I'm just looking for a different ink brush because I will contaminate them for sure. I'm trying not to keep doing that. See that smoking effect? That's beautiful. I've been um, making vintage old paper and using a technique similar to this and it's been coming out so beautiful. And I've been putting it in the journals as writing spaces love it okay have one other secret recipe <laughs> um this is just a little turmeric in water it really look at that helps age a piece of paper But I find that I have to put those other layers on to get that effect. Then the turmeric. And the turmeric's watered down. Love it. Love it. All right. I want to stitch around my edges. lace is a little bright so what I do with that is I um, real quick put a little tea on it a little coffee tea would be best but we're doing coffee this morning just a little just to calm it down and then I let it dry a little bit and so forgive the noise but I'm just going to dry that real quick That went from that bright white to that nice color. All right. Put a little um, ink around the edge. Oh, 
almost feel like I wanted to fussy cut her. But I like having that blue in the background. Maybe y'all just take the edges. Like I say, I don't like real hard cut edges. Just taking them off helps me. That feels better to me. I hope you ladies are have warmed up and are enjoying this process. I have most definitely done soul crafting warming up. Feeling it. Appreciate you stopping by. That looks much better. Much better. It takes that from looking like um, a, a digi to possibly an old found photo. Try not to be so um, uniformed in the rips. Beautiful. Thank you for stopping by, Felicia. Appreciate you. Oh, look at here, sis. This is coming out beautiful. And I just want to take it and sew around her on the sewing machine real fast. Let's hope I don't run out of bobbin thread. I had been doing some sewing earlier. And you know what I'm going to do because this live is already. And I just saw that my uh, needle needs threading. I'm just going to glue it down, let it dry, and then I'll come back and sew around the edges. And by the time you see her on a book cover, she'll be all sewn in and decked out. Oh, I love that. So I'm just going to tack her down. Because I don't like to have too much glue run through the... Uh, sewing machine I'm loving this and I had that little piece of go I love adding fabric. And I'm just going to tack those down with a little fabric tack. I love 
love that. Just a word would be nice. I feel like a little music paper would have been nice in there too. But I'm going to stop with that. See if I can find a word that would fit. Let's see. This is the Tim Holtz um, word book. You know what? For me this week, or last week, it was the truth. It says, it is always the small pieces that make the big picture. And that has been real for me. And it was the small pieces that makes the big picture of this. So just ink up the edges. And soften this white just a bit. And you know, I hate those hard edges, so just a little ripping on the ends. And because I'm going to sew around it, I'm not going to um, put too much glue on, even on the words. I like to sometimes play with angles too. And I was a little worried about that red that I saw in the fabric. But with the red of her shawl, that looks actually pretty good. And I actually kind of like her on an angle. Wow. I consider myself a small piece that helps make the big picture too. Beautiful. Yes. All right, dear hearts. I'm not going to make you have to go through watching me do the sewing, but here's what she's going to look like. And she'll probably be a book plate on uh, my journal, my one of many journals I've got started. And I like a little bling. By the time you see it, she may have a little bling, but I consider our, us all warmed up and ready to really begin our crafting and I thank you for coming and warming up with me I will definitely show you the end game and you'll see it on a, a journal um, if not next week in the future but I hope you had a good time I hope you definitely warmed up and I wanna say bye and see you next week thanks for coming thank you I think it's going to be lovely with the stitching um, since the thread came out of my needle, I'm probably going to do a little brown. I had black thread in there, but I think I'm going to stitch her around with brown. Thank you, guys. Have a great Sunday. Bye. Wow, it's flickering. I think I'm ending just in time. The, the power seems like it's flickering. So have a good week. Bye. Thank you, 